Welcome everyone to this New Year's Eve watch night service hosted by Disability and Jesus. We're grateful to the many friends who've come together to lead different parts of this service and we pray that it's a blessing to you and to them. So let's worship apart yet together through our music, our prayers, our scripture and reflection. Let's acknowledge this year that has been passed, which is not always the best one. And let's look forward with hope to the new year ahead. We come together, not with large public celebrations of years past, but with whispered rumours of hope and anticipation of all that the year ahead may bring. We come together united by prayer and the love of Christ that has been woven through our beings and holds us tightly forever. We come together to remember all that has grieved us, all that has brought us joy, and to pray for the year ahead. When the dark threatens us, when the light dazzles us, when life overwhelms us, We remember God is with us in the gentleness of the dark. The inspiration of the light and the courage to be who we are. God of all nations, God of all time, we gather 
apart together to mark the passing of the year. We offer again our thanks for your faithfulness over the year. Renew us in the gift of faith that we may journey into the unknown future, confident that we shall meet you there. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of mercy, hear us as we confess our sins. For the sin that has made us slow to learn from Christ, reluctant to follow him, and afraid to bear the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive. For the sin that has caused the poverty of our worship, the formality and selfishness of our prayers, our neglect of fellowship and the means of grace, and our hesitating witness for Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive. For the sin that has led us to misuse your gifts, evade our responsibilities, and fail to be good stewards of your creation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive. For the sin that has made us unwilling to overcome evil with good, tolerant of injustice, quick to condemn, and selfish in sharing your love with others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw us to himself and cleanse us from all our sins, that we may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This has been quite a year and there are three words that I've been pondering as I wondered how to have our reflection at this watch night service. Those three words that came to me were lament, gratitude and hope. Let's go lament first, shall we? It is okay to grieve what we have lost this year. Some of us have lost access to buildings that we hold very dear whether we've lost access to other people's homes and households, whether that's been a loss of public spaces like libraries, church buildings. We've all lost being able to go places that mean something to us, being in close proximity to other people. We have lost that closeness of being able to hug others if that's what helps us in our personal lives. We have lost people, not just relationships, but as a nation, we have lost a large number of people to COVID. We have lost freedom of movement. And instead, our freedom has been to choose whether to move or not. We have lost jobs and the economy has lost a significant amount. We are a nation amongst nations who have lived through loss this year. And for many of us, living through loss is a fairly standard part of our story. And this year may have been no different in terms of dealing with losses, but it certainly has had a different reason for those losses. So lament. It is OK to grieve, to shake a fist at the heavens and say, this is just so unfair. And to name the things we have missed this year. I'm a bit of an introvert hermit and thought, Lockdown would be a real joy and a gift to me. But actually, I have missed people and I didn't think I would. I have missed the easy contact of dropping somebody a WhatsApp and saying, let's meet at a cafe for a cup of tea and a bit of cake. And I have missed that freedom of choice as opposed to a freedom that says I will choose to restrict rather than to go out. 
So it's okay to lament what has been lost, to lament birthdays and celebrations that have been through a screen rather than through a front door, to have missed festivals and feasts, to have missed the sacraments in a public space in a church building. It is okay to lament what has been lost. And if you are somebody who has lost somebody, then we stand with you as a community of saints and we lament your loss with you. The second word, gratitude. See, in amongst all of the losses, in amongst the sense of a lack of hope, there have been moments where my faith in humanity has been restored. And I am grateful to everybody who has complied, even if they have questioned and queried the rules and the lockdowns and the tier system, we've still complied. We have still said there is a greater good here and we will do what we need to do. Our freedom is in being able to choose to comply and not choose to rule break. So I'm grateful to everybody who has said, I will hold back in order that others may be safer. All those who choose to restrict their lives just because they can didn't mean they should. And so they opted to restrict. I'm grateful to all frontline and key workers, all those who have dealt with the sick, those who are suffering, those who are dying and have so beautifully dealt with those who have died and all around them in really tough circumstances. I'm really grateful to all who've worked towards the vaccines, who have laid aside everything else. And I know that comes at a cost to bring us the vaccines that we need in order to have more freedom in the future. I'm grateful to all those who dealt with death and who have given life to those around them. I'm grateful to the people around us in this neighbourhood who, when we were shielding the first time around, did small things like bring us milk when we really couldn't go out. Folks who sent WhatsApp messages and text messages, amusing things by email, just to keep our spirits up. I'm grateful to all my fellow clergy who still wrangle buildings and people and church councils and the politics of tough decisions. I'm grateful to you all and I'm grateful to this community of disability in Jesus, that we are a community who laugh together, who live together, who love together and who love God together in all of our messiness. Lament, gratitude, hope. I do have hope. Some days hope is very tiny and hides away somewhere in the house. Some days hope is a constant companion alongside who jollies me along and some days it's somewhere in between. I have hope that the vaccines will give us back a level of freedom of choice, not freedom of restriction. I have hope that we have learned something from this year, something deeply important that Christianity teaches and has at its heart, but is much harder to put into action. That is about being the body of Christ, about loving your neighbour as yourself, about loving God with everything we have and about the fact that when one suffers, all suffer. In fact, we are connected and we've seen that, unfortunately, with COVID, that no one is fully isolated from everybody else. We are connected. But hopefully the lesson from that is, yes, we are connected. And therefore, when one suffers, all suffer. And when one needs help, all need help. And all of us together, flourishing, is a beautiful thing in humanity. Maybe we've learned more and more that loving ourselves, self-care, loving others, restricting our freedoms in order that they may be safe, and loving God as priority, are the things we have learned in the hard way on the ground this year. So I have hope. Remind me on the dark days of next year when I say this, <laughs> but I do have hope that, as Julian of Norwich said, all shall be well and all manner of things shall be well. God is still God and he is still with us. 
and we've learnt so much this year. Good, bad and ugly. May we take the good with us, the joy with us. Leaving space for lament, recognising things for gratitude and always having hope. God of peace, we pray for the world. Set your peace in the hearts of men and women, that the nations of the world may learn to live as members of one family and children of one God and Father, to the glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. God of justice, we pray for our worldly leaders and governments. Make all who exercise power over others to be defenders of liberty and champions of justice. And so, rule in their hearts that they may also be lovers and makers of peace. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. God of truth, we pray for society. Help us to understand the causes of social tensions and unrest. Open our minds to economic wrongs and racial bias. Deepen our concern for those who live with poverty, illness or disability. Stir in us a sense of responsibility one for another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love, we pray for our community. Make us mindful of the people we live alongside, those who share in the activities of the community, those who are at its core and those who feel on the edge. Help us to make our contribution to the community and to learn to be good neighbours, that by love we may serve one another. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our families. Sustain and comfort them in times of need. Bring healing in times of division and tension. Increase in us mutual understanding, tolerance, patience and love. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. The things that we have prayed for, loving God, give us the grace to also work for. And in the purposes of your love, answer our prayers as may be best for us and for those for whom we have prayed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Those are the Lord has given you, so you also must forgive him. Above all gluten, you said, with love. 
with birds, everything together in perfect harmony. Friends, take the life you have from God and bring life to the world. Take the love you have from Christ and embrace your neighbour and your enemy. Take the joy you have in the spirit and encourage the world with rumours of resurrection. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen.